My eight-year-old freaks me out. This isn't a new thing, okay? She's always freaked me out. She loves to hide, okay? Which normally isn't that creepy. Out of sight, out of mind, you don't see it. It's not that creepy, but the problem is I do see it. Okay, she, she picks pretty obvious hiding spots. <laughs> oh wait, you see this? Not only uh, is it creepy when I do see her, cause sometimes she's good, okay? Sometimes she hides real well, and I do see her. She's like that living meme, comment when you see it, and then there's like a family sitting on a couch, and then there's like a demon child in between the couch cushions with the eye, that's my kid. The other night she went to bed at eight o'clock, okay? I went to bed at 11. I gave her plenty of time to calm the creep, okay? Cause she's a creep. So I, being confident that she has crippled her creep for the night, <laughs> I walk up the stairs confidently in the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm a man until I see a child's head at the top of the stairs and what I can only assume is a reverse crab situation. I don't know how she's that flexible. One. Two, I, her skin tone blends in with the carpet. My mind saw body parts in a, in a certain order that didn't make a human, okay? I saw, I saw feet doing this, eyeballs open, a grin, and then a tailbone up here for some reason. And in my mind, I was like, demons, okay? My mind did not put together eight-year-old child isn't asleep yet, and demons at the top of the stairs, okay? That's what happened. That is my kid. Oh, I'm sorry, were you going to bed right now? Were you trying to have a peaceful night's sleep? My bad, I'm creeping. But that's not what I'm talking about, okay? Even though that does sound very creepy, and yes, I, I did take a swing at her. I missed, of course, because fear struck me about seven steps away, which is way out of arm's length. But what she does that freaks me out is the moments that I don't see her. And it's not creepy at first, okay? Because no, I did not see her creepy crawly crucifix into the corner of the kitchen. No, no, no. I got my little Debbie Hostess snack and I went right back to bed. It's creepy because she'll tell you she saw you, okay? The other morning she comes up to me before school and she says, hey, Biebs. I saw you, and I said, I see you too. I thought it was sweet. I was like, she's she's really seeing me now. I'm not just a shadow of discipline to her no more. No, no, no. She sees me for who I truly am, and I said, that's real sweet. I see you too. Love you. Gave her a kiss, and she said, no, no, in the backyard. I was in the backyard. Good. Yeah, no, that's... That's what it's for. Yeah, I'm glad you're having fun out there. That's real good. W weather's getting warm, and she cuts me off, and she says, I saw you walk into the kitchen last night. I was in the backyard. And I still haven't put two and two together. Explain. Explain why I need to know this, okay? What's happening? I was in the bushes. Okay, <laughs> cool. I mean, yeah, I... Wait, why, why, are you in the, why were you in the bushes? I was hiding. <laughs> you did a good job! And then she said, nope, but I, I saw you. And then she went to school, and I, <laughs> I pondered upon that. And it took me about four hours for me to realize Boy, that's creepy. <laughs> Turns out my kid hides, and if at first you don't shriek out of fear from a flexy bendable crab demon that you see in the top of the stairs, she just lets you go. And then she'll come find you and say, hey, I saw you in the kitchen. Okay, uh, we are currently in the kitchen. Yes, I see you in the kitchen as well. Maybe she struggled with not being able to see for a couple weeks and just didn't tell me, and now she's just very excited about it. I saw you right now, uh-huh. Good, <laughs> that's how eyeballs work. But no, she'll be like, I saw you in the kitchen. I was in the cabinet. What? Yeah, the top cabinet above the fridge. <laughs> First off, the rice cooker don't even fit up there. <laughs> how the heck are you getting on top of the fridge? I have security cameras in my house. Not for burglars, no, no, I mean it would help. For my child and for my own safety, okay? Now, if I don't hear my eight-year-old for quite some time, I know she's setting up camp somewhere to hide. So now I just look at my security cameras around the house and I just see her crawl into weird spaces and sit there. She'll just turn off all the lights and hide behind the couch. And then let me watch four hours of 90 Day Fiance while she does this and I'll never know about it. Well, I will, because she'll tell me later, but it's not as creepy as when you see her. You know, like when you get that feeling that someone's watching you? It's, it's my kid. She's at your house now. <laughs> she must have snuck out of her house, walked all the way from California to Tennessee to look at you from the bushes on your morning walk. Don't be alarmed, okay? It's scary, but she won't do nothing to you. Although she's gonna have to start learning some self-defense, okay? Because if she demon crab monkey walks up the stairs towards me, she's gonna have to learn how to tuck and roll that chin as I push her down the stairs, okay? I'm, I'm just saying, I don't wanna push my kid down the stairs. I love my kid, she freaks me out. The only thing creepier than walking down a dark hallway and seeing nothing but eyeballs and eyebrows just peeking around the corner is walking down a dark hallway and knowing she's watching, but you can't find her, okay? She's the epitome of the calls coming from inside the house. I'm gonna have to put a collar on her, but then that's creepier because then you just hear a collar coming quick. 
When does that go away? When does the when does the hiding go away? Is this my karma? For what? I'm perfect. Don't worry about hiding your kids or hiding your wife. They'll do it for you and then they'll freak you out because that's what they love to do, okay? I love being a dad. 